Today we're going to talk about the world's most powerful antioxidant nutrient found in nature. And then can you take a guess on what that is? Well, that nutrient is called astaxanthin. All right. Now, astaxanthin is a red pigment that belongs to this group of chemicals called carotenoids. And they are also referred to as the king of carotenoids. Now, when you take this nutrient, it's going to do a lot of things for your body. It has a lot of interesting benefits and then it has a lot of healing potential. All right. Now, there are key things you need to know about this nutrient, astaxanthin. All right. Now, number one is that they are very powerful antioxidants. And in fact, they have been found to be 6,000 times more potent, more powerful than vitamin C, 700 times more potent than coenzyme Q10, which is also an antioxidant, and 100 times more potent than vitamin E. For this benefit, they can help prevent against unhealthy aging and the negative side effects that comes with aging because they have the potential to neutralize free radicals, reactive oxygen species, and the nitrogen species, which can result in oxidative damage or oxidative stress. So when you are taking this nutrient, it's going to increase your antioxidant level. Your body is going to start scavenging those free radicals that can create a lot of issues in your body. All right. Now, the next interesting thing about this nutrient is that it optimizes the liver. It helps to increase the function of the liver because this nutrient has this preventive and therapeutic role in liver fibrosis, liver cancer, drugs, and ischemia liver induced injury. So, when you are taking this nutrient, it can help to increase the function of your liver. Your liver's ability to detoxify is going to increase, all right? So I recommend you start taking this nutrient, astaxanthin, all right? Now, the next interesting thing about this nutrient is that it is very anti-cancer, okay? It can inhibit or prevent the growth of certain type of cancer. And when you are taking this nutrient also, it can protect you against harmful blue rays, all right, harmful ultraviolet rays, which can result in skin cancer. So there are really a lot of interesting things about this nutrient, astaxanthin. So when you are doing exercises like strenuous exercises, what's really happening is that your body is going to start utilizing your glycolytic pathway to generate lactate or lactic acids, which is going to start fueling your body, all right? So over time, what is going to happen is that you're going to have lactic acids build up in your body, and that is going to reduce your pH, it's going to make you to be more acidic, and then you could develop something called um, lactic acid acidosis. You're going to have too much acid in your muscle, and that is going to inhibit your muscle contraction. So when you are doing exercises and then you feel tired in your muscle, it's due to the buildup of this lactic acid in your muscle. But when you are taking this nutrient, astaxanthin, it's going to activate another pathway where your body is going to start using fat where your body does not need to generate lactate or lactic acid to fuel your body, all right? That is going to reduce your lactic acids build up in your body, which is going to increase your athletic performances and endurance, all right? So now this nutrient, astaxanthin, is very, very important, all right? And the next thing is that it's going to reduce neuroinflammation. It can help reduce inflammation in your brain, in your nervous system, it can help repair those nerves that send signals to different parts of your body. And then that can actually prevent you from developing certain neurodegenerative diseases like Alzheimer's and then Parkinson's diseases, all right? And then it actually does this because it has a lot of antioxidant and then anti-inflammatory effects, all right? And also this nutrient improves your immune functions. It's going to help protect against DNA damage is going to help protect against lipid peroxidation, against inflammation, all right? And every other thing that can compromise your immune system, all right? So where can you get astaxanthin? What are the sources? Well, you can get it in foods like um, salmon, trout, crayfish, agate, shrimp, and then yeast. These are the common sources. But the good thing is that they are also very much available as a dietary supplement. So even if you are not eating any of these foods, you can take the supplement form of this nutrient, astaxanthin. There are a lot of interesting things about this nutrient, all right? So guys, let me know what you think about this nutrient in the comment below, all right? Thanks for watching.